Hello guys, in this video I will talk about tall and wild stacks, popular choice with Laravel to become a full stack developer. Even in the official bootcamp of Laravel there are choices of regular blade, but as a full stack solution there's Livewire, tall stack and inertia wild stack. So in this longer video I will explain both show both in action with code examples and share my opinion which is better to adopt for newcomers in Laravel. If we take a look at the official job board of Laravel, Lara Jobs, we may find that almost half of the jobs require full stack even in their title. So full stack developer, full stack software engineer here, sometimes general software engineer or senior software engineer, senior full stack developer, full stack Laravel engineer. So it seems like you need to be full stack to be competitive on a job market. It seems like we went full circle. I even created a meme about it that 20 years ago there was one person responsible for everything on the web. So they called it webmaster. Then there was the decade of specialization. So whether you're front end or back end developer. And now it seems to go back together into a full stack webmaster again mostly because the tools are available and ready for us to be full stack so full stack means front end and back end and on the back end it's clear it's laravel but what about the front end over the years in ecosystem of laravel two sub ecosystems appeared to be the most popular which is tall stack and wild stack and even here on ladder jobs you may see tall stack as a separate tag mentioned in some of the jobs there's no tag for wild stack separately so there's a list of tags here and we have tall stack wild is not a separate tag but it's about Vue.js which is mentioned in quite a lot of jobs so Vue.js here Vue.js here you can see Vue.js here with Tailwind, so that's already almost built stack. So my point is that both are popular. You may find jobs with both tall stack and build stack. Now let me demonstrate you both in action on a demo project so you would understand the concept differences. And then at the end of this video, I will try to explain my opinion on which is better in what case. And for those of you who don't know, tall stack stands for Tailwind, Alpine, Livewire and Laravel. And wild stack stands for Vue.js, Inertia, Laravel and Tailwind. So both of those stacks have Laravel and Tailwind, but on the front end, it's either Livewire with Alpine or Vue with Inertia. Or to make it even a bit more confusing, Livewire could be used without Alpine and Vue could be used without inertia. And of course, there are other smaller stacks less popular in Laravel ecosystem, stuff like React or Svelte. They are also good, just less popular among Laravel developers. So I will talk about those in separate videos. And in this video, we're focusing on tall and wild. Now let's see them in action in the code. Here I have a demo project of Livewire taken from one of my courses. So actually all of the examples in this video are taken from courses. So I have a course about live wire from scratch here then view without inertia then separately course about inertia and also even a course about tailwind for laravel developers so all of the upcoming demos that you will see are taken from those courses available for premium members of laravel daily now back to Livewire. The full stack thing in here means that, for example, this table is filtered without refreshing the full page. So if you search for something, data is refreshed only in this component. If you choose a category, data is refreshed only here without touching the full layout of the page. So this is our goal of kind of single page application. And with Livewire, you can do it without writing any JavaScript. That's the main kind of selling point of that. If you are a backend developer with PHP and Laravel, Livewire is kind of extension of your knowledge in PHP world without learning Vue.js, React or any JavaScript framework. So it's a comfort zone for backenders. In the code, it may look like this. Only one example. So Laravel controller. And then in the controller method, instead of loading the table data here and then loading the view, you just load the blade. And then inside of that blade, instead of the full table, you load Livewire component, which takes care of everything inside. And then Livewire component looks pretty similar to a typical Laravel controller. So you get the data from Eloquent, you have methods to reset page in the table, another eloquent statement, and then render method that would actually render the table with 
data. So we have data from server and then you return blade. And then in that products blade, it's a familiar Laravel blade just with a few live wire syntax like wire model for dynamic properties that are defined in the live wire component here. So search query, search category, and results for the products. So whenever you change the search query or search category, the data is re-rendered with the new data, including those search query and search category parameters. So this is how Livewire works in general. The main point of Livewire is to stay within the same Laravel ecosystem and be quick to adopt by Laravel backenders. So this is tall stack example. I didn't show Alpine specifically and I have again a course about that, but in Livewire 3 it's kind of adopted within Livewire and you need Alpine specifically only for some more advanced operations. The main part of tall stack is actually Livewire. Now let's go to the other side, build stack, where the main player is Vue.js. So here's an example, another table with another set of data. And to understand build stack with inertia, first you need to understand view without inertia. So in this example, if you search, for example, by title, the data is refreshed, again, without reloading the full page, but that is accomplished with Vue.js component calling Laravel API. So to adopt Vue.js on the front end with Laravel, typically you would create Laravel API, which would be consumed in the Vue.js component here. Let's take a look at the code. So in this example, you create the routes and components for Vue.js, for example, component for post index, which is a view file index.view with template and with V model for all the variables needed. So there's search global variable, there's V model for search ID, search title. This is the one that you've just seen in action. And then there's a table of data down below. So if we scroll a bit down, we have V4, which is kind of like for each in blade. And we have the data of posts to show. And then down below, we have the logic, the Vue.js logic of how to get that data. And there's a function called get post specifically for that. So you do all your logic. There are various ways to do that in the Vue.js component. So basically you kind of forget the Laravel world in this case. You load the Vue.js components, view routing, view templates and logic, and you remember Laravel only for the API. So in one of the files for the Vue.js, you get the API posts, which in Laravel routes goes for route API resource to the controller. And then that controller returns the data in Eloquent, returns as an API resource collection, returns just the data, which is then shown in the table in the index view component. So that's the classical Vue.js front end approach, the opposite of Livewire. See how massive is the difference even in thinking. So to adopt that Vue.js mindset, you need to become a full stack front end developer as well and know Vue quite well. So this is where we come to the inertia part. For backend developers to easier adopt Vue.js, inertia came to the scene. I have a small project of inertia without really filters like in other examples, but I will show you the code to get the idea. So to switch between about page, for example, and post page, it happens with inertia and the routes for that are in Laravel. So inertia helps to glue kind of glue Laravel and Vue.js in Laravel routes in more familiar way to backend developers. So here we have route inertia and that about is a Vue.js component. So we're not running away from Vue.js component. We still have script and template, but in this case, we don't need to create separate routes. We don't need to create Laravel API because inertia helps us with that. So with route resource in the post controller, this is Laravel, but we return not the blade, but we return inertia render again with Vue.js component, but the data to that Vue.js component comes from the same Laravel controller. So you define that data inside of that Vue.js component, index.view, you define properties, you define the layout with inertia, stuff like link, and then in the table, you have the data, post data from post controller here. So with this kind of long explanation, I wanted to lead you to Vilt. Why not just view with Laravel API, but view in Laravel with inertia as kind of a middleman glue. Now, after you saw tall and built in action, let's get back to why and which one is better. As I said in the beginning, both are okay. Both have valid use cases. 
But if you are at a crossroad, which one would you need to learn or adopt better? And I would mention two angles. First, whether you care for speed of delivery, the current application, and whether you're a backender at heart, or you care more about long-term project with more customizability and flexibility, and you have some JavaScript experience, and you're not against JavaScript in general. So those are kind of two camps. And with that, a related thing, what project are you working on? For small projects, Livewire is better for faster delivery. For bigger projects, especially working in a team, Vue.js may be slower to start with, but will give you more flexibility and you would be able to hire developers with Vue.js experience even without Livewire or Laravel experience. And that's actually the second part of the argument that Tallstack and Livewire is only within Laravel ecosystem. So you cannot use Livewire outside of Laravel. With Vue.js, it's a different story. You can find Vue.js jobs and projects that use not Laravel on the backend, but some other framework, even not PHP. And even with Inertia, if we go to the homepage of Inertia in how it works section, it's not just for Laravel and for Vue.js. On the backend, it's for Laravel, PHP, or Ruby templates. And on the front end, it's for Vue, React, or Svelte. So for example, you could technically use Vue.js with Inertia with Ruby. So if you're looking for job opportunities, probably Vue.js with Vilt Stack will give you bigger amount of opportunities if you want to play the numbers game of widening the spectrum of job offers. But even within Livewire, there are still a lot of opportunities. As you can see, Tallstack is mentioned quite a lot of times here with quite big salaries. Or if you're working on smaller projects or your own personal projects, hobby projects, or a startup that needs quick delivery, Tallstack may be a better choice, especially with filament for example taking the market by storm and skyrocketing in popularity so that may be another angle what do you think what advice would you have for junior developers starting with laravel and wanting to become a full stack what would they need to think about whether to choose tall or vilt or maybe think in some other way about those two let's share the opinions and discuss in the comments below and subscribe to the channel if you want more videos about Laravel and ecosystem and see you guys in those other videos.